Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today. So we're going to talk a bit about the difference between box color and professional color. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. Okay, so let's start. So I think I can speak for a lot of stylists out there that when we say to not use box color, it's not because we want to get more money out of you. I think at the end, when you mess your hair up with box color, you're actually going to spend much more by fixing it than you would have spent by just coming to us straight away. So let's dig in. So you may think that coloring is just about, oh, I want to change my hair color or I want to cover my gray. But there's so many aspects to have in mind while deciding to color your hair. For example, the undertone, the developer, the thickness of the hair, the density of the hair, the porosity of the hair, the history on your hair, and also what you previous, previously did with your hair. So there is so much. For in case you did not know, um, there is different developers that needs to be used on different types of hair or different types of people. So there is not only one developer and one outcome. So let's begin with box dye. So box dye use a standard formula of developer. They don't have the different developers your hair may need. So that's the first thing. Box dye has different types of pigments than salon color. And I can definitely add on that um, they also have other ingredients that is not good for your hair at all. And that goes with the type of pigment that is in it that's cheaper. And that's why box color is so cheap and salon color is more expensive. Box color is full of harsh chemicals that can be very, very hard on your hair and also very bad for your scalp, especially when you are allergic to a lot of stuff. Because of that harsh chemicals, that is why it is so hard to remove box color when you decide to go lighter or want to change your color. There is literally no box dye on the market that I know of or researched that completely washes out. Even if they say it's a semi or demi color, it still sticks onto the hair, even if it's a little, but it does not wash out completely. Um, not all box colors covers gray. You may think that um, they say at the back with the pictures on gray hair will look like this or blonde hair will come out like this, but not all the colors come out the way you want it to. Okay. So let's go to a bit to the positive side about salon color. What does salon color do? Let's talk a bit about that. So if you sit back and think of it, when you go to a salon, the first thing that happens, the stylist should hopefully um, sit and talk to you a bit about what your goal is. They do a consultation, look at the hair, feel the hair, and then make the perfect color just for you. We as stylists are very concerned of the history of your hair. So you may think once you were blonde, then you went black and now you can go blonde again, for instance, but that is not that simple. So it's so important to tell all your history to your stylist so she can really um, fix up a plan on how to mix your color correctly, how to mix the best color to reach your goal. Salon color is also specifically formulated for your hair, which is amazing. And that is why it's more expensive, not because we want to get money out of you, but actually because it has so much better ingredients inside of it. And I personally use a brand that has ammonia free color, which is amazing. And it also helps when you have a lot of allergies or scalp irritation. So that is why I literally love salon color and will never use box dye on my own hair. 
obviously the application is also very important so if you like your hair messy with stripes and full of blobs you won't mind putting it on yourself but as a stylist i know it can be very difficult especially at the back to do that so that is also one thing that i can add to salon color is being able to sit and let a professional color your hair exactly like you want it and another pro tip pro note i need to give you is okay wait for it l'oreal paris that you buy in drugstores and grocery stores is not the same as L'Oreal Professional. It is so, so, so important for you to know that. I know a lot of people does not know that and think it is the same, but with all the love in my heart, I give you this knowledge and I give you this wisdom by telling you it's not the same. So if you buy something in the shops that says L'Oreal, just know the ingredients may not be the same than the products you will buy at a professional salon. So at the end, my question is, is it worth to fix your hair for the short term for cheaper than to wait a bit and let a professional do it for a bit more money, but at least it will be perfect and it will be healthy for your hair. So it's for you to decide, but my opinion, my recommendation is definitely to go for salon color. Box dye is not good, it's so harsh and salon color is so much better so for the next thing in this video i want to focus on how you can make your regrowth less obvious so if you didn't have time to go to a salon for quite a while or you've been in lockdown and quarantine like a lot of us then here are a few tips how you can make your regrowth less obvious I'm going to put pictures in of examples how you can do this. So first, a zigzag bath. Second, I've seen such a great product that I really love. Um, like you can see, I don't really use it because I don't have any regrowth. But a lot of my clients has been using it and it really works well. It is a L'Oreal product that you can buy at a grocery store or a drugstore. So I'm going to put a picture in to show you how it looks, but it really works well. It washes out, so it's not a permanent thing. It's like a type of powder you spray on your roots. It actually covers gray. And just remember, it does wash out. So don't buy it with the intention of it's going to tint your hair. It is not. It is just for short term. Third, do not make clean parts like mine almost. Do not make clean parts. When you have a regrowth, it will be so much more obvious. Four, you can actually wear a side fringe like I am now. Or the picture I'm going to show you is going to make the focus on your fringe and on your face and not on your regrowth. Do not tie your hair up in a very, very tight pony because obviously all your hair is going to go to the back and you will be able to see the regrowth much more. Curl cool your hair. That actually helps. All the tension will be on the curls, will be on your face, not on your regrowth. Wear a hat. That is actually such a fashion statement now. So don't be afraid. Go out of your comfort zone and wear a nice hat to hide your regrowth. Use headbands. Nowadays you get really, really nice headbands that are stylish, that is in fashion, that you can tie up. Go on Pinterest, check out a few ways how you can use a headband, how you can tie it up. I love braids. I think you've seen it in a lot of my videos. I love braids. So I'm also going to show you a picture now of examples how you can do braids that actually make your hair look like you have highlights in rather than such a regrowth. So use braids. It is awesome and it's still trendy. So don't feel you're out of trend when you wear braids. the law.
last thing I think a lot of people has asked me like they don't really have an intense regrowth that is obvious but here and there gray hair is sticking out so my solution for that is use eyeshadow what? I know I said it but obviously eyeshadow is not permanent so if you have your hair back or with a parting and you see one or two gray hair stick out take black or if your hair is brown take eyeshadow cover it up a bit and you're ready to go thank you so much for watching i really hope this video helped you a lot let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any tips and tricks i would love to know and please like this video and subscribe to my channel to see even more tips and tricks and how-to videos have a wonderful day bye